Hello YouTube. Um, this is going to be a new series in which I'll be showing you how to program basic Java. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be using a compiler it's called Eclipse. That's the one I prefer. There could be some better ones, some different ones. It all depends on your personal preference. So, a compiler is just, um, it's like a thing where you write specific code that you can understand and where it just transfers it into binary code or ones and zeros that's code that code and language that the computer can understand so that it can run the program right. um, I'll be assuming that you have uh, JDK installed I think I'm using 1.7 I'll put a uh, download link into the description and I'll also be assuming that you know, if you have the JDK, it's already all configured so that you can actually use Java on your computer. If not, just message or put a comment and I will make a tutorial for that too. It's pretty simple, but if you can't get it, then I'll just make a tutorial. So what you're, wanna, gonna do, what you're gonna wanna do is um, open up your compiler, in this case, Eclipse, let it load. Now, if you are using Eclipse, um, yours might not look like this, probably won't actually. I just like it because, you know, it's my personal preference, I like it looking like this. Um, uh, honestly, your your whole workspace is going to be, is going to include all the same things. Um, it's going to have this package explorer, console, java docs, so on and so forth, task list. Mm. And it's going to have your main window, you know, to program. So you're going to want to go to Package Explorer. It's going to be somewhere on the left side. You're going to want to click New and Java Project. Call it anything you want. I'm going to call mine YouTube Tutorial. All right. So you're going to want to expand that. Now, your source is pretty much where all your, um, all your, all your classes are going to be, all your things with the actual code. Your source system library is just uh, where you're actually going to get the code from. Uh, this is where the pre-made code is, um, that's where it is, and that's where you can use it from. So you're going to want to right click on source, click right, right click, go to new, and class. Type it, uh, make it whatever you want, I'm going to call mine uh, basic print ah, whatever print okay. now what a class is you might be wondering it's um it's pretty much like a big place where you put a whole bunch of code so each class can be like specialized to do something like you might want to um uh assign if you're working in a company you only want to assign one class for let's say one person to do and then another class, which has another specialized, um, is, is going to be used for something else. You're going to want to give it to another person to work on. So therefore, you know, you get things done better and quicker. Um, for now, we're just going to be working with one class. And as you can see, we already started writing a little code for us. Uh, what this means is public, as in this class, can be called or used in another class. For example, if I had private the code that's inside this class could only be used inside this class but that's not what we're doing so for now we're just doing stick with public class is pretty much identifying that this right here is going to be a class and print is just the name of the class I named it print because that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to do basic printing out of text on your screen these squiggly brackets just like this right here it just encompasses a bunch of code and uh, yeah, that's what they're used for. So I'm gonna go down here and start writing. So public static void main string args and then your squiggly brackets. Now what this means here is this is a method. A method is something inside a class that holds well, it's where you organize the code. For example, this is your main class. Whenever you open up something in Java, whenever you open up a program that uses Java, the program automatically works so that it looks for a method that's called main, and that's from where it works from. 
if I were to name this something like, I don't know, something weird like Fadoodles, the program couldn't work because there will be no method called main. So we're going to entitle main. And later we're going to get into multiple methods and multiple classes with multiple methods. And that's where you're going to need main. So that from this you're going to be able to call other methods. And that's how your whole program is going to be more organized and it will work a lot smoother. Now what public means again, same thing as here. That um, it, it pretty much is going to be able to use and be used in other methods and other classes. Uh, this right here means that <clears throat> it's not really going to like ask for any true or false statements because that's the only way a program can work true and false um, it's just gonna like perform a solid action and then main I just explained that and these are well we'll get into that later these are just some uh, like identifiers they make uh, they make like specific specifications for this class so we made a squiggly brackets and we're gonna put some code in here so system dot System dot out dot print, and then that, and uh, it's just sort of like an unspoken rule that whenever you learn a language, the first program you ever make is just a hello world program. So that's what we're going to be making. And whenever you finish a line of code, you're going to have to put a semicolon. That just pretty much means stop code, go to next line. Now what this code, what this little block of code here means, that system, this is where the code is going to, this is where the action is going to be happening inside your system. Like it's not going to be happening on a network, it's not going to be happening in a separate window, it's going to be happening in your system. Out means that it's going to be taking the information from the program, that the information that's inside the program, and it's going to be putting that information out into something, in this case, a system. And then print is just a method that means um, it's gonna print out uh, it's gonna print out code, and the code that it's gonna print out is hello world. Now, if you click run and just click OK, right here, there you go, just print it out hello world. Now you can either use print or print line. I'm gonna explain the difference right now. Let me just copy this code because I'm lazy. Um, print just pretty much means exactly what it says. It's going to print out the code, it's going to go to the next line and print out the code, but sometimes this can cause problems, so I'm going to show you what happens when I click run. Oh no, print it out on the same line, and it just looks like that. However, the good folks at Java made a code so that right here, print ln, print line, means that after this code is printed out, after this right here is printed out, it's going to automatically skip a line. Here, run. And as you can see, skip the line right here. Uh, if I were to switch this, uh, it won't work. Ah, darn it. It won't work. Um, see? Because Java works in order. goes one, two, three, four steps like that. So it's going to do this code first, and it's not going to skip a line. Um, it's only going to skip a line after this. So pretty much what we did was we made a class, then our main method, and these lines of code, which pretty much print out hello world. Um, well, 